Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you my October and beginning November uh, crocheting and knitting. I have no sewing, so I don't have anything to show, show you in sewing. And my haul that I made, especially over the uh, Veterans Day sale at Joann's and Michael's. The first thing I have completed the first thing I have completed is my Dirk the Dragon by, I never can pronounce her name, it's L-A-L-Y-L-A-L-A, -L 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 -A -L -A. and you can find it on my Ravelry page, and here is my version of it. And there's his spine, or whatever that is on the dragon, and his wings, and his little scarf, oops, his ears, smashed. And this is a present that I made for my oldest son for Christmas. Uh, the next thing I have completed is a pair of socks. You've seen them before that I had made my son for, this is my other son, my youngest son for Christmas. And they're with the lizards. And it has the fish lip kiss heel, which I love. And they're low socks because we wear mainly low socks around here. So those are done. The lizard. They're going in opposite directions. Okay. And the last thing I have completed is the uh, four row feather and fan knit top. And that is by Peyton's. It's a free pattern, patent silk bamboo. And I made it out of Stitch Nation Bamboo U. Bamboo uh, it was 55% bamboo, 45% wool out of the Snapdragon color. And here it is, all done. It still has to be blocked. And there's the, it is completely done now. Just got to block it. The ends are weaved in. I will just clip the ends after it's done drying. Clip the, the ends off. For what I have started, I have started this the Michelle's Elsa hat, I found it online. I, I didn't find it in Ravelry. I found it on a, a website online. And I'm making this for a, a, a little girl for Christmas. The white is just a super saver, red heart super saver. And then this teal colored for that the crown is going to be in is I love this yarn in metallic and the colorway is Peacock Sparkle. So that's what the crown, I just got started doing the crown. It's just the edging of the crown for right now. So the crown and then it'll have her hair in white. The next thing I have started is a pair of socks for my oldest son. And this is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's a, sack, a men's sock pattern by Amy Klimt. K-L-I-M-T. Klimt. 
and I'm just getting started on these. I have the first one, uh, the cuff, and a little bit of the pattern worked down to where I'm going to start the heel pattern. And then I started the second one, and I'll work it down to there. I'm working not two at a time, but two at the same time on separate needles. So that's the uh, second sock, and this is the first sock I have done so far. And the yarn that I'm using for that is... Uh, Premier's uh, Deborah Norville Serenity Sock Weight, and this one is Aquamarine. And here's the sock, the, the yarn all balled up. And that one is just in my little bag that I had made earlier with the handle on it. And the hat is just in one of my little drawstring bags because I just leave this one at home. And the last item that I'm working on, I had started that before. I didn't give this, I didn't work on this this much, that much. It's in a new bag that I got uh, from one of my sisters. It's a little poem about sisters on there. It was just a little bag she gave me, and I stuck my uh, needlework in it. This is the uh, the Bellevue tunic from Love of Knitting Fall Edition. Book, you can't really see it on there. And I haven't worked on that because I wanted to get those other things off the needles. Because uh, they, you know, they were Christmas, except that one top. And this is all the further I've gotten so far. I had to rip back all the way one whole section because I didn't do my wraps right. So that's all I have done on here and I haven't worked on it in about uh, two weeks now. And that's all the knitting and crocheting I have right now. I do have my uh, haul that I want to share with you. I want to start off I guess I can start off with some notebooks. I found these notebooks at a local store and I've been using them. Let me show you one that I've used already. I got a stack of these. They were only uh, 99 cents. They're by Paper Craft, uh, ribbon bookmark, and they have the elastic uh, closure. I didn't say how much paper is in it. I have about four or five of those, and this is what it looks like with the elastic closure. It's a hardcover book with uh, lined paper in it. And I'm just using this one I have in my book with my socks for the notes on my socks. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, here's a couple books. I'm falling in love with these little books that I'm using for my projects and stuff. Uh, this is a book that I picked up at Michael's. They were $3. It's two in there. I picked this up because it had the monogram. But to note, the inside, this one that you can't see doesn't have a monogram. It's just the flower print. And these were $3. And then um, Michael's had a 25% off sale. Okay, then I went to um, Ollie's or Ollie's, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, and I got a couple knitting books. 
The first one is a <clears throat> Knit Now, which is Knit and Crochet Now, dot, uh, Written Crochet, Knit and Crochet Now TV uh, book, and it has all different kind of projects in there, and it even has a, a, a CD of the, uh, the show. And it has a lot of different hats and scarves. And fingerless mitts, it has socks, it has blankets, bibs, all kinds of things that you can knit in here. The second book I found was this uh, Socks a la Carte Toe Up Number 2. I love this book. I haven't used it yet. Uh, and it was... It's just, it's, it talks about, you know, how to make socks, and then it gets back into the pattern where you can have your top is one thing, your middle of your sock is something else, and then your, um, your heel and toe is uh, something else. And you can flip and flop and make up a sock pattern. And then it shows you, for all the patterns, you can go back into the book, and it shows you how to do each of the different patterns that you pick out to make your sock. And it has an elastic closure. This one was $2.99. And this one was $5.99. Now I picked up a lot of yarn. I don't have to buy yarn for a long time. Uh, the first one, I'm just going to grab whatever comes first. This was in the uh, Mix and Match. This was at Joann's. And I used a 60% off coupon. They were $7.99, and then I used a 60% off coupon uh, for the one-pound bags of yarn. And this one has two different yarns in it. I don't know which yarn these are. And it says that these are uh, mixed fiber of acrylic, polyester, nylon, and wool. And it has this one with the pink and the purple. And this one is blues and pale greens and yellow. And I think there's two, three, four of each color in here. There's five of the blues in that bag. So it's like $3 and something I think I paid for it. And another bag that I got was, again, with the 60% off coupon, another mix and match, one pound bag. And this one had three of these skeins. No, these are Hanks. Three of these Hanks. And two of these nice jumbo skeins. They're in like a, all, both of them are a goldish color. I'm not sure about the colors, uh, the what type of yarns these are. So if anybody recognizes it, I would really appreciate if you tell me what they are or what you think they are because I have no idea. I don't know yarn that well yet. And the last bag that I found was another mixed bag. And it had this purple one, the t tonal purples. Lavender all the way to deep purple. And this one with the greens and the purple and the lilac, the different colors. So I have those are the three of those mix and match bags. Then I have picked up some sock yarn. And... With the 60% off, I got some more of the Premier Sock Yarn by Deborah Norvo, uh, Serenity Sock Weight. And I got two of each of these. And this one is Pink Sugar. Uh, I got two of these and 
surf. And then I have two of these in Harlequin. And that was all of my yarn from Joann's. Then I went to Tuesday morning and they had this Deborah Norville Premier Wool, Nat wool Naturals and it's 100% wool. And this is Curie Marl, Q-U-A-R-R-Y-M-A-R-L colorway. And they had six of these and they were $2.99. It's like a, a gray and a cream color. So I got those. Uh, then I went to Michael's. Michael's had their yarn on sale at a great price. And then there was a 25% off coupon that went along with it. So I got the Impeccables yarn. I got eight of these and Earth colorway. It's really pretty. It's dark browns, rust. Medium browns, tan, uh, a medium brown, light brown. So I got eight of those. And then they had the uh, Peyton's Croy socks. And these were on sale for, well, those were on sale for, I think those were $239 or $249, I think. And then I got 25% off of that. These were $2.99 and then a 25% off of that. So I got two of each of the colors. These are Peyton's Croy Socks FX. Wait a minute, Dynamite. This and I got, let's see. Uh, the FX I got in... Cascade colors, and I got two of each of these. Then I have just the Croy socks and singing the blue stripes. And this is another Croy socks FX and cameo. This is a Croy socks and flax. Uh, this is a Croy socks FX and shh, baby clover colors. Dynamite. Wait a minute. Here's another clover colors, but it was a different uh, dye lot so that they look totally different. I got the dye lots to match. So I got two of this one and two of this one. Then I got Croy socks and rusty stripes. Then I got one uh, Croy socks in blue striped rag. And that's all. Uh, that was the last of my socks. So I have 
enough sock yarn to make socks for everybody, several pair of sock yarns. And I don't think I need to buy any yarn for a while now. I have enough to last me through all my little knitting fit. Unless Black Friday they have another great sale. Then I'll have to go and see what else they have. Uh, but if you know what types of socks those were or uh, what types of yarn those were in those bags that I showed you, uh, if you could just leave a message down below with this video, I would really appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye.